the first Nitro Chaos right here on Monday Morning Racer. Funny Car versus Front Engine Dragster versus Fuel Altered versus Top Fuel 80% running Nitro and up. It was allowed and it was right here at Eddyville Raceway Park. Action round by round next. check out the presenting sponsor for Nitro Chaos, Twisted Shifters and 360 Steel. Twisted Shifters can provide a wide range of custom shifter knobs for your big rig, old muscle, and even new muscle, also plungers and canes. 360 Steel has got you covered in custom metal artwork, including their unique fire pits, often with an automotive flair. Check them out at 360steel.com and Twisted Shifters with a Z.com.
up girls you know you <laughs> like them definitely Roger Richards likes them and this young lady I think even though she didn't win the contest she would have won the contest if I was definitely <laughs> choosing tough competition the gladiator guy won he usually does steal the show but this is Mimi meow yes all right that's, that's all right Mimi meow and folks uh, I want you to know that she's been a busy lady today. How many cars backing up as the backup girl? Um, I backed up three different cars today. <laughs> three different cars, that which included Big Show Nitro Funny Car, a fuel altered, and also a gasser. Yes, so a range of classes also. <laughs> you got it all covered for sure, for sure. <laughs> now, you do more than just the bug stint as well. You've done photo shoots and you're definitely within car culture. So explain some other things you've done with the same vein of Backup Girl. Um, well, obviously a lot of drag racing events, um, but before I started doing drag racing events and Backup Girl duties, I did a lot of pinup modeling and just going to a lot of car shows and doing like pinup contests and things like that. But then I got a 1962 Buick and started taking that to car shows and quickly found out that getting myself ready for a car show and getting my car ready for a car show, like getting myself ready to do a pageant, a pinup pageant and my car ready for a car show was a, a lot more work than I bargained for. And when I was doing the pinup pageants, I was missing out on my day and seeing the cars because it takes up some time and everybody wants to take a picture, which is fun and I love. But I was there for the cars and then kind of switched into organizing and judging pinup contests and doing a lot more print work with pinup. Folks, now you might think <laughs> someone who has done pinup contests, does backup girl uh, for drag racers, that she might have the occupation of a bartender or maybe a burlesque dancer. I don't know. <laughs> But your occupation is what? I am a junior high and high school English teacher. <laughs> she is a English teacher. So not only can she correctly back you up, but she can also correct your thesis paper. <laughs> so, true. Mimi Meow, look, tell everybody in the camera where they can follow you and stay in touch and see what's going on with you. Yes, um, I am at Mimi Meow on Facebook, or you can catch me at Mimi Meow Midwest on Instagram. Back to drag racing on Monday Morning <laughs> Racer right now. Monday Morning Racer caught up with the winner of the B field here at Nitro Chaos, Mike Minnick. Talk to me, man. Corn eating it up over the track at the end of round one, and now you're in victory lane. Talk yeah. to me about the day. Yeah, uh, started off a little hairy. Uh, shoots didn't come out first round. Um, I got it hopping down the shutdown area pretty good. Anybody that's ever been to this racetrack knows the shutdown area here is pretty unique. Um, it's, it's got some banking and things down there. You got to make the turn. So I had it hopping pretty good, and actually, it, it got it stopped pretty good. I got to give give props to Jake Sanders, who, who did a lot of work on the cars. He did all the brakes and stuff. Everything worked like it was supposed to, except the parachutes, unfortunately. But uh, got it stopped. No real damage. Uh, I mean, it went off the end, but no re no real bad damage or anything like that. I got best crew I could ask for. They got it back, fixed everything that needed fixing. Jake came over and made sure the shoots were working correct. Came back for the final, and I mean, it wasn't the prettiest thing in the world, but we got there first. That's all that matters. I have to ask, since having you on camera here for the first time, how does it feel to pilot such a prestigious name in drag racing as a Chi Town Hustler? I mean, it's it's for sure. It's 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 a lot. Of, it's a lot to think about too. Um, luckily for me, I was kind of born and raised around it. You know, Grandpa drove it, and then my dad drove it, and now it's my turn. So it's always been in the family. It's always been something I've been familiar with. Uh, for sure, when you get people that come out here and talk about it and tell you how they used to watch a car in the 60s and the 70s and all that stuff, it, it kind of hits you. And, and, you know, but once the, once the car's down and the body's closed, I can't see what it says on the side of it anymore. So uh, you just 
do your best to do your job and try and do it right. And luckily today we got the job done. Mike, congratulations. You are the winner of the first B Field Nitro Chaos Field. Thank you, sir. Yes, Wolf Pumps right here. Wolf Pump this guy. as well. Bring him Step in, in here. Bring him in. This guy right Legendary here. Legendary man, That's Edward right. Wolf, Wolf Pumps. The best pumps in racing. Y'all check Thank them you, out. Thank you, very much. We're very blessed. Now, I think thanks for supporting. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Nitro Chaos, Scott Palmer. Scott, a lot of folks would look at this win and go, well, it's not NHRA. Look, talk to me. Why is a first and a win like this so significant to an individual such as yourself? Well, it's the first race of its kind so far, and, and we, we need more. We need more races like this. So when Chris Graves asked me to come, you know, at first I was actually hesitant about coming. And every one of these racers sent me a message or called me and said, bring it. We need to have a good show. We need to put on a good show for the fans. People have forgotten that we're doing this for the fans. They get all caught up in top fuel racing and they forget big burnout. Big, you do a big ass burnout. I can hear the crowd cheering after a burnout in my car. So that's why we do it. People forget that. They need to remember that. You know, our sport needs some help right now in, 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 the big, in the big time. And showmanship is gone. All of these racers out here, Every one of these, I was sweating bullets because these guys are going to go down that track. And in the second round, I should have got beat. Yeah, talk to me a little bit about the struggles. Fire underneath the car and warm up. Uh, round two, as you mentioned, it was not a pristine no. week. No, we haven't run this car since last year. We got a new car, so we've been running the new car this year in NHRA, and Alex Laughlin drove it, Lee Calloway drove it in Houston, the new car. This car's been set. We just thought it was sitting there ready to go. Boy, were we wrong. It, it was, it's paying me back. I think it was mad at me all day yesterday, and we finally got it down the track and got it up here, but you know, it's, been a, it's been a battle all day, all day even today on race day. We had trouble today, second round, which we, we got lucky. We got real lucky. I mean, anybody out here can win this race. We're just fortunate enough to get there. Well, man, look, congratulations on a new track record, ET and speed. Congratulations on the win. And last word, look in that camera and tell all your fellow competitors why they should come to a Chris Graves Nitro Chaos. Because it's, it's an awesome show. Everybody that shows up here can win one of these races. These are tough competitors. This, this ain't no joke here. These guys are out here showing off and putting it all on the line. I mean, it's insane. And for the money, you cannot believe, believe the, the show you're going to get. You got to show up at one of these races. This was awesome. Eddieville Raceway is awesome. Gerald, all the people here. This was a great race, and we probably ran faster than we should have. But the track was prepped awesome. And it is at every every chaos race. Any chaos race you go to. Rick Dacuz and my buddy. He's, we just got him a funny car. So we're gonna be back. You'll see us some more up with the funny car. Thank you, Scott. You bet.